Hi guys and welcome to Delphi tutorial of a piano. And let me show you guys how this works. Okay, so there. So what I'm going to do now guys is I'm going to take you guys straight into Delphi development environment and we'll put one of these together. And for your information, this will be the last tutorial I'll be doing on Delphi pending when I'll be able to afford a new package. However, if you guys out there would like to support, that would be great. You'll see my details on the description area. So let's go to Delphi development environment and put one of these together guys. Hi guys and welcome to Delphi tutorial of a piano. I'm going to start by going to file and let's select new, select windows VCL application and there the system is now getting ready. There I'm going to drag my form that much. I may end up increasing or reducing it. I don't know yet. Okay that looks maybe about right. Alright, you see right here on the palette there, I'm going to select T plane, plane there and just drag that right there. And that's what I intend to use. Why? Because T plane does have or T panel does have uh, click events. And one other good thing about T panel is we can change the fonts change the back color and so on so first of all I'm gonna come right here you see this one let's go right down you see where we have vertical alignment I'm going to take it right down now let's go straight to the text I'm gonna change the font to something readable let's make that about maybe 24 bold and change the content in there Let's change the text yeah, right there. Go straight to the caption. I'm going to change that to C. That's my C notes. Right. I'm now copy this. Uh, first thing, let's just give that a name. Let's do the writing. I'm going to come down here. You see where we have a name. I'm just going to change that to panel. Let's just say P N P A N okay, C. That is for the panel. Okay, I'm now going to double click on this very panel now. Double click on it and check this out. You see, we do have a click event in there. Now, I am going to right away just in here underneath begin. I'm going to say SND play sound there. And in here, inside the parentheses that I just added, the following argument will surely goes in there. So one of them is going to be the location of the sound. Then I am now going to specify that sound underscore default or sound SND AS y and c there okay now i have my argument in place and i need the location of my sound so let's come right in here this should be all let's get that corrected now let's go into my file here i'm going to copy the wherever I can get the sound from that is the folder with the sound I'm going to include that folder in my description area so let's copy that and come right down here but before that I'm going to first of all save this file let's go to file save and I've already created a location for it right here so I'm just going to enter a piano in there alright save that 
okay so let's go to the folder the directory where I have my piano right in here and I'm gonna right click and just paste the music folder that I created that is it right there now the very first wave sound that I enter on my system here let me show it to you guys C notes so I'm gonna come in here select C note hold on to your shift key the shift key and then right click copy the part you see the part copy that you do need that now double click on the C right in here paste the part okay once the part is paste let's get rid of these double quotes get rid of that and get rid of this other one as well as you guys can see we have an error there so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to kinda like let's come right here just break that into two so that you can see what I'm about to do in the first place I do have an error there that was supposed to be letter Y and we then need the library that we officially play this background sound for me so I'm going to scroll right up you see right here okay you see where we have user right underneath interface I'm going to enter comma at the end of the last VCL exit so I'm going to say comma mm system comma v c l dot m player we need that just these two hopefully my error should be gone now look at that so i'm going to run my program click on run there we go yeah let's try that again hear that okay that's good so what we need to then do now is just to copy and paste so I'm gonna copy this but one thing first let's bring back this object inspector copy the C copy and paste so that is going to be my D so well I just want to make sure it does have it you see it doesn't have its own procedural area let's go back in there and select it let's go to the events I'm gonna get rid of this there that's fine now let's come back to the properties right here inside the property let's go straight down to name so I'm gonna change that to P A N D that should be D okay that is done I'm gonna copy that I need 11 of those copy paste okay I have 11 in total I think this let's change the background color I'm going to change the background color of that form to maybe black let's come right down here let's make it dark nope I also want this to remain as the same color first of all I'm going to change it to gray then I'll change it back to the original color I've copied it so let's paste it in there all right that's fine so I'm going to repeat the same thing for the others let's change all of their colors to something totally different and bring it back to the original color that will be the easiest way out yeah and uh, paste the original color there so I'm back so that's good now let's change the data in on each of them so this one is going to be D and this is going to be E letter E followed by F so let's speed that up F so we have C1 now so let's make the other one D1 then followed by E1 then we have F1 that is it all done now the other design is I'm going to also copy one of these copy 
and let's paste it paste but I'm going to bring it up here and reduce that first of all I intend to change the background color so come in here the background color of that will be black the font color will change that to something lighter so let's select font and the font is going to remain the same size so I'm going to come in here you see right here inside the font we do have colors in there I'm going to change it to white and click on OK there we go now the font size the font will be C sharp so let's change that let's go back in there where do we have font that will be C sharp very good alright so I'm going to copy that for the others Control C and I'm going to paste it right there we have two so this so let's come in here copy again in fact let's just copy both of them copy and let's paste that back in here yes yeah, somewhere there and I'm going to paste another one paste bring that here yeah and I need just one more copy that and paste bring that here alright so the interface is almost ready so I'm going to select this one that will be D D and the next one is going to be F sharp this will be G and here that will be B B and here that will be C sharp 1 and we have D sharp 1 here and that is it D sharp 1 ok guys just like we did for all the other buttons I'm going to name these ones as well come right here the yeah that's the name in there that's going to be panel C S I'm going to use the S to represent sharp so this one is going to be panel D D S and panel F S panel G S and panel B B Bravo and this is going to be panel CS1 and finally panel DS1 DS1 there that is it all done okay if you guys remember for the very first one let's collapse this this is it so I'm just gonna copy that lines of code and let's go back to design view double click on D paste that right there so all we then need to do is just to change the file name the file name is D enter D in there so let me show you the guys the file name that is it right there okay it's only when it comes to the D sharps and so on I just have to be careful so that is D done go to E double click on E paste paste the same lines of code change that the file name to E follow the next one paste change that to that is F pay the same thing for G now becomes a G I mean yeah we have A so depend on whatever the name of your directory is paste for the next one and that will be B C1 then we have a D1 D1 
and here we have E1. We have F1. Now let's try it out. Let's try out the the bottom keys. Now let's take care of these other ones here. So let's double click on C sharp here. Double click on C sharp. And in the case of C sharp, let's come right here. That is the C sharp. You can see it is C underscore. So let's select that and just right click, select the part. And if you notice, all I just need to do is with the C sharp, just copy. I can delete all of that then you see me paste it again you see that of the C sharp now let's check out the D D has the same thing so let's come right down here I might as well just copy all of these well first of all let's get rid of the double quote in here now copy that for D come right down here double click on D sharp paste and change this to D. Next is the F. Paste, change that to F. We have a G. Paste, that becomes a G. And we have double B. Paste, and change that to double B. now we have C sharp 1 there I believe there should be a 1 in front of that but let's check right I am right that's it now D double click on that that is the D change that to D and 1 right in front of that okay save that run I think we are there now. Brilliant. Yeah. Try again. There guys, and that is how you create your own piano in Delphi. So with that, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it. And just for your information, I will not be producing any more Delphine tutorial until I can afford the package. Except if you guys want to help out, that will be great. But right now, I don't think I'll be able to produce any more Delphi. Pending if any good guy out there will be very kind enough to contribute some money for me to buy a new package for Delphi or Rad Studio that would be very great of you guys so with that I'm gonna say bye for now can you please uh, subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel you all have a nice day now and bye for now